I'm here to tell you a story about Fargo, North Dakota. And yes, I'm talking about that Fargo, the one with the wood chipper. But Fargo isn't just a Coen Brothers movie. Fargo is a community of 120,000 people who care about their community. Fargo is also the setting for an interesting election. There was an election in 2015 where there was a six-way race for commissioner. And the winner of that election won with just 22% of the vote. That's hardly a mandate. The vote splitting was obvious. This was unfortunately not an isolated incident for Fargo. This has happened before, and it would happen after. This is something common in cities across the country. But this was embarrassing for the commission itself, and so they had to do something about it. They went ahead and developed a task force to figure out a better voting method to address this vote splitting problem. And that's when the main character of our story comes into play. This is Jed Lemke. Jed is six foot nine, and as you can see from the picture, he barely fits inside normal door frames. But Jed's height is not his most salient attribute. His most salient attribute is his passion, and he is passion, passionate about his city of Fargo and making sure that they have the strong elections. So Jed had reached out to us, and he had asked, what do we do about our elections? We can't have this happen again. And so, in reaching out to us at the Center for Election Science, we recommended a voting method called approval voting. Approval voting is a very simple voting method that allows you to choose as many candidates as you want. The candidate with the most votes wins. There's no ranking or anything complicated. You get results immediately, no special software. This was very appealing. And so, Jed took this information back with him to the task force. And the task force was on board with it. They recommended it to the commission. So what did the commission do with this information? They sat on it for about a year. And remember that race earlier that we talked about, the one with the 22% winner? Well, that commissioner was on, this, uh, was on the commission when they, made the when they made this decision not to do anything. But we can't forget about our main hero in this story, Jed. And Jed was not going to take this lying down. Jed decided that he needed to do something. If the commission wasn't going to act, he needed to. And so what he did, he got everyone he knew and started gathering signatures and made, a, and made it so that approval voting got on the ballot in Fargo. But getting it on the ballot isn't enough. You have to make sure that people know about approval voting. After all, approval voting at this time hadn't even been used anywhere. So Jed literally went to the airwaves, telling everybody that he could about approval voting. So after telling people about approval voting, what did the people of Fargo think? So Jed had an organization, Reform Fargo, where he did outreach, getting people to learn about approval voting. He had teamed up with us at the Center for Election Science at this point. We were educating people about approval voting. And the people in Fargo, they were enthusiastic. After all, there is this very simple voting method that addressed vote, vote splitting and gave people a nice consensus candidate. It just made sense. But now that you have all these people on board, what do you do? You have to have people coming out to vote. And that's when the next phase went into play. And that was gathering an approval voting army. Jed, with his organization, and identifying key stakeholders in the community, was able to get them to go door to door, telling people to go out to vote, to vote for this solution, this simple solution of approval voting. And it didn't hurt that we had a secret weapon of cute kids like this among our volunteer team to get people to go out to vote and to persuade people over the media. And given that, it's a little surprise the outcome. 63.5% win. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And this made Fargo, North Dakota, the first city ever in the United States to use approval voting. And here's our takeaway. Be like Jed. Don't 
let others sit on their hands when there's a simple solution. And now there's only one question left. Who will be the Jed to bring approval voting to its next city? Thank you.